Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, seventh grade math, section 1.1, integers and absolute value activity. Pause while you write section 1.1 activity in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's activity objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is connect the relationship between velocity and speed to the relationship between an integer and its absolute value. Now copy the following vocabulary words, definitions, and examples in your notebook. Integers are the set of whole numbers and their opposites. Absolute value is the distance between a number and zero on a number line. The absolute value of a number, A, is written as absolute value of A. Those tall bars are the absolute value sign. Be sure you copy everything exactly as it appears on the screen. We'll be beginning today's activity on page 3 in your record and practice journal. So be sure you have that open because you will need to be writing in that. So activity 1.1 is integers and absolute value. The essential question says how can you use integers to represent the velocity and speed of an object. And it says on these three pages you will investigate vertical motion up or down. Speed tells how fast an object is moving, but it does not tell the direction. So that's an important distinction to make. So speed is how fast an object is moving, but it does not tell the direction. Velocity tells how fast an object is moving also, but it also tells the direction. So when velocity is positive, an object is moving up. When velocity is negative, the object is moving down. We're going to keep right on moving to activity one, which is a falling parachute. It says work with a partner. Your partner is me for this activity. You are gliding to the ground wearing a parachute. The table shows your height above the ground at different times. So here's our time in the first row and here's our height in feet in the second row. So when zero seconds have passed we are at a height of 90 feet. When one second has passed we're at a height of 75 feet and when two seconds have passed we're at a height of 60 feet and when three seconds have passed we're at a height of 40 feet. So you'll notice that as time passes we are at a lower and lower height because our parachute is falling. So it says describe the pattern in the table. How many feet do you move each second? After how many seconds will you land on the ground? So, so we already know that our height is decreasing So our height is decreasing and now we need to figure out by how much. So if we look at the change between each number we can see that from 90 to 75, we take 90 and and we subtract 75, we get 15. And if we take 75 and we subtract 60, we get 15. And the same is true with 60 minus 45. So the height is decreasing by 15 feet every second. So 
So we are moving 15 feet every second, and we know that it is decreasing. So that answered the first question. Then the second question is, after how many seconds will we land on the ground? Well, it took us three seconds to get to 45 feet. So if we're at 45 feet after three seconds, then all we need to do is think, well, 45 divided by 15 equals 3. So it's going to take us another three seconds to hit the ground. So 3 plus 3 is 6. So it will take us a total of 6 seconds to reach the ground. Now let's look at letter B. It says what integer represents your speed and give the units. So if we look at 15 feet every second, we can represent that as 15 feet per second. And that's a speed, just like 60 miles per hour or 65 miles per hour or 5 miles per hour is a speed. So that might be something you're more used to. But 15 feet per second is also a speed because it tells a distance in a specific amount of time. So it says give the units, so the units are feet and seconds. Do you think your velocity, moving on to letter C, do you think your velocity should be represented by a positive or a negative integer? So since our height is decreasing, and if we looked back at our definition of velocity, it tells us that any time our height is decreasing, it should be a negative number, then we should choose a negative integer because our height is decreasing. So if we were doing something like a rising balloon, then our height would be increasing. So then we would want a positive integer. What integer represents our velocity? So we take our speed and we put a negative sign in front of it, and it's negative 15 feet per second. And we gave the units because it's feet and seconds. So we have done our job. Your assignment for this lesson, if you have not already done so, is to complete the What You Learned Before problems 1 through 9. They are located in several places, so you can find them in lots of different places. They are on page 1 of your textbook, which you can find in hardcover, of course. You can also find that online, or I have taken a screenshot of it and put it on the next slide for you. You do need to show your work in your notebook and enter your answers in Big Ideas Math, and be sure you press the Submit button so that I will get those answers. Please be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You need to complete your exit slip back at the website. You also need to come to our next class prepared with the journal pages that we did during the flipped lesson or any other work that we did for the flipped lesson completed. You also need to be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed and be ready with any questions you have for your teacher and as always have a good attitude. We'll see you tomorrow in class. Remember to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson. You must complete your exit slip. 
You must come to our next class prepared with your journal pages or any other work that we did during the flipped lesson completed, and you need to be prepared with any work that was assigned during the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have about the content of the flipped lesson and a good attitude. We'll see you in class tomorrow.